Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk, and uh, today I thought we'd have another look at the uh, Amiga 500 Plus. If you remember, that's the one with the um, quite severe corrosion damage. And um, what I thought I would do was test the um, all the ICs on the board. So, so I just I knew that whether I was dealing with um, just a board fault or whether I actually had something else to um, deal with. I was watching. Um, Gadget UK's one of his um, Amiga repair videos um, the other night, and he was pointing out that a lot of these Amigas uh, uh, that are suffering from this corrosion damage, that's not necessarily why they um, were retired in the first place. This can be um, like this is due to storage. Sometimes the Amiga could have had a fault, been stuck in a cupboard, then the corrosion damage has happened, and. There's obviously then you've got two faults and I think that's possibly what's happened in here because uh, what I did is if I uh, whiz round here Oops, there we go. What I've got here is I've got my um, an Amiga 500. It's just one of my uh, one of the ones that I've got lying around and it's fully working. It's never had any work um, done onto it. Actually I broke the warranty seals opening it up for uh, this little project here. But um, yeah, it's just a bog standard um, Amiga 500. Now I know some of the ICs aren't exactly identical, but they're all of the same family. So what I thought I would do is I would use this as a test bed to test all the ICs from the um, Amiga 500 Plus board. Now um, I went and started going through them and the first thing I found was Gary. Now if you remember, Gary um, has that rather nasty oxidisation on his pins there. And when I try Gary in this board, um, it's dead. It doesn't do anything. So I swapped the Gary out of this board into my Amiga 500 Plus board and still nothing. I then tried the processor out of the old 500 Plus board in this board and this board fired up absolutely no problems. I then tried um, Paula, as Paula was the um, next nearest to where the corrosion had happened. I was uh, going to do Agnes after that. But anyway, I tried uh, Paula, and again, Paula from the 500 Plus board worked fine in here. I then pulled the ROM out of the uh, 500 Plus board and tried that in here. Now, I know that should work because that was a common upgrade, and the time was to put a um, later Kickstart ROM in the earlier 500s. So I put um, that Kickstart ROM in, and it wouldn't boot. It was just the same dead black screen. So I took Gary and the ROM, um, the ROM chip from um, this Amiga 500. So um, and I stuck them in the Amiga 500 Plus that we've got here. And I will uh, just show you now if I switch it on. Now that's more healthy straight away. If we see there, I'll just give it a um, a minute. It's no floppy disk there, so I think it pauses. Um, it's a bit confused, but there we go. That's that board actually uh, firing up and booting now. So uh, yeah, I'm quite. I've not changed that IC that I was uh, talking about. <coughs> so that IC I thought may be damaged there. Obviously, is um, is actually in working order. Uh, we've obviously we've managed to repair all the the critical traces. Obviously, I've not tried this with a disk drive yet. Um, that's going to be the next thing, is going to be um, trying this with a uh, disk drive and make sure it'll work with a disk drive, make sure all the RAM's there and it's happy and um, really go on from there with it and hopefully we should have a working 500 plus again. Now what I did do is I um, went out on eBay and I picked this up for a few quid and what we've got here, we've got another Amiga 500 motherboard because what I was planning on doing this was sold to me as tested and working, a bare board tested and working, and uh, yeah, a uh, bit of a cowboy seller I think, because um, I tried populating, what the idea was, was if I couldn't get this 500 plus board working, I'd um, populate this with all the ICs from the uh, 500 plus board, and have basically a 500 that was up to 500 plus spec, and um, then use the 500 plus case for it. But despite this being sold as um, in working order, it's not. Um, first thing that I spotted before I'd even tried it was um, 
notice that resistor there that's absolutely burnt out now that relates to um, I think that um, joystick stroke mouse port there so yeah there's, ob there's obviously a fault before we even started anyway I populated this board up with all the ICs that you've um, out of my 500 so it should have worked absolutely perfectly they're both um, 500 boards they're both 6, uh, six A revision boards actually and nothing it's completely dead so uh, I think that seller is going to be getting a few uh, choice words back from me I don't particularly want to send this back to be honest because it was only cheap and I'm sure I can use various bits off it if uh, nothing else but it's a bit disappointing because obviously this is corrosion free that's where this, this is the only problem with this. I've got it working. Except we don't know whether it's fully working yet, but we've definitely, uh, like I said, we've definitely got a um, boot screen up. But it's whether any of this corrosion is going to go any worse and we're going to lose the board again. Excuse me. I have obviously, I've cleaned all this up with um, some vinegar solution, some white, um, white vinegar solution to neutralize any alkali. And, you know, we've already changed the um, socket underneath uh, Gary there. So what I'm going to have to do is um, source a new ROM, or I might see if I can copy one of the ROMs out of, say, my 600, because that would um, that'd work well enough in here. So uh, I'll, source a, I'll either burn or source a new um, ROM for it, and then I'm going to have to hunt through all my Amiga spares and see if I've got a uh, replacement Gary for this board. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick update and um, say that I haven't actually forgotten about this project yet. Or at, at all, sorry. Um, we have got some progress. Like I said, we have got a, uh, a boot screen up on it now. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that now. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.